drip, that's water, call that boss. Huh. You tell my squad and they gon' be a cost. You better be prepared to take a loss. Huh. I left my enemies dripping, but it ain't sauce. It ain't sauce, no, it ain't sauce. Yeah, enemies dripping, but it ain't sauce. Hello people, it's your boy Austin Spitty and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, oh boy, I'm going to be reviewing The Crow 2024 remake. Now, I know I'm a little bit late. I'm very late, actually. I'm thinking I'm like seven days late. Um, this film, I think this film, I believe this film came out last uh, Friday. Uh, I was away on vacation um, and I was also getting ready and dealing with school, so... I didn't have time to actually watch it, and there was no connection or movie theaters on a the ship, so couldn't do that. But um, I'm gonna try and make this quick and simple. It may end up being longer because, excuse me, I do have a lot to say. But um, yeah, I, I knew I needed to get this review. I need to do this review, especially since I made a crow film myself, and I really like the crow, so I definitely needed to review this and get this out. So. I actually just got back from the theater. Me and my friend saw it. And I'm going to just get straight to the point. This shit is... This is a shit show. This shit is... This is ass. Okay. I, I don't know what... I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. Um, Me, personally, The Crow doesn't... Did it need a remake? It does not need a remake at all. If you ask me, that that crow that film is very a part of its time in a way. In in other ways, it is kind of ahead of its time, but it was really part of its time of what was going on back in like the eight, late eighties and nineties. And that film was really a part of Brandon Lee, and that was like the last of him. So we really kind of just left that film alone. Um, this film. I don't know. I don't even know where to begin. Like, we got out of the theater, and me and Jordan look at each other, and we're just like, what the hell did we just watch? Like, this, this shit was just bad. Like, and it's not even, like, it's a goofy bad. Like, it, I can't even have fun or, like, you know, it's not even a film where you can kind of have fun. Like, you know the movies that are bad, but they still have goofy things in it that can make it fun? This film takes itself very, very, very seriously and wants you to be invested in everything that is going on, and it just doesn't work, okay? First off, let me just... And forget spoilers. It, it, fuck the spoilers. It doesn't even matter. Um, Let me just get this. The film is, is doing Eric Draven again, so... And that was one of my other gripes, was that I... I you're doing Eric Draven again. You're doing, well, not again. You're doing Eric Draven, and it's just like, that was Brandon Lee's character, and I didn't think you need to do that. That was one that you already had that I think I mentioned in the trailer. Like, you, you didn't need to do Eric Draven again. You didn't. You should have kind of, not to boost my film, but I you kind of should did how I, like, make him a new character. Like, my character was a... Uh, Ryan Aiken. I made up a new character, Ryan Aiken. And because of that, you could kind of do something a little different because it's not Eric Draven. So you don't you could tell somewhat of the same story, but you don't have to because it's a new character. So you could go a little bit deeper or go into other directions. And the film tries to do this. It's just it, it just doesn't it just doesn't work. But making him Eric Draven again, I feel like that just was there so you could get butts in the seats. Get butts in the seats, and it's called The Crow, of course, so that's going to bring people, you know. My theater was empty, by the way. It was no one in there. It was only, like, I think it was, like, two other people in there. That's how bad it must have did last week. But, yeah, making him Eric Draven, I think that was just a bad idea. You should have just completely made a different character. Um, This film has, like, no, like, style. The acting is weird. It's not It's not really that good. It's okay at times. You really wasted Bill Skarsgård in this film. The film has no, like, style or nothing. The music is uh, you. You pretty much waste, like, the whole 
first hour and like 20 minutes of him just walking like of like getting like a full backstory on stuff and then like he's just walking around doing nothing and then like the last couple of minutes then you finally get to it like really go like like really like go watch the trailer or matter of fact watch my reaction to the trailer because you're going to get more enjoyment out of that that whole trailer is the movie just watch that trailer that whole trailer is the movie that action scene you see in the trailer that's the only action scene though the action scenes you see in the trailer that is it you don't get nothing else that is it where he's walking up the stairs and he's getting shot like one time that is the most exciting as it gets it does not get any better at all like that's the best that it gets and it's like ridiculous it is so ridiculous they have introduced a character like he's a villain in the sh in the film and he has powers but they don't explain anything other than he gave his soul to the devil like and then that's it like that's it like i thought it was gonna be some type of supernatural battle there's none of that like he, he just has powers and then that that's really and then the crow defeats him in an instant like that's it that's really it and then i i get it i get it you know you want to you want to kind of show the love story a little bit you kind of want to dive deep that's I, I get it but the love story isn't interesting you don't make eric draven or his love interest interesting i don't give us you made me not care i don't give a shit about Eric and what he was like before. You don't make his backstory interesting. I don't care. I, you don't make his backstory interesting. And it doesn't help from the fact that you have these you have him meet his love interest and they only been dating for a week and then they literally die within like a couple of days. In the original these they've been together for years and they literally what makes the stakes even higher is the fact that they literally died the day before they was going to get married and have kids. That's why that works. Here, it feels like a high school relationship. It feels like a high school relationship. It don't even feel like they like they haven't been together for long. Like they, It's only been like a, a week or so. And it's like they build it up as if like this is some dramatic and super impactful and great relationship and like we i barely know y'all we only saw like a couple like all of y'all did all of this stuff within a week like i don't know nothing at least in the original right the original right which i think is pretty good it is really good i, I definitely go don't don't even waste your time this was a waste of 20 20 dollars okay go watch the original in the original you already start off with his death you already start off with his death. And then after he dies, it takes place like a couple years after he dies. And you see him in a cemetery. He gets out of the grave. You see him make his way back to his place. And he starts remembering stuff. Because when he first gets back, he doesn't remember anything. You have him go through, you have him go back to the place where he died and try to uncover how he died, what happened, the love relationship, the relationship he had with his love interest. You dive deep into that through the flashbacks. And the flashbacks don't halt the film. They keep it going, you know? And you have him, like, like go around and, like, find people. And he's, like, killing these people that have somewhat connection to him. You don't get any of that in this film. You don't. You don't get none of that. This film reminds me of RoboCop, the RoboCop remake, where... They are trying to, they're trying to like explain how he was because RoboCop does the same thing. You kind of just start off with him as a cop and then you just see him die and then you see him come back as RoboCop. They're kind of trying to show you what he was like before, but just like in RoboCop, they don't make Alex, Mur they don't make him in Murphy interesting. He's not a, like, you don't make me invested in who he was before. He's just as dull and as boring as if he was if he was a robot. And in this film, you don't make him interesting. I don't care. Yes, Bill Skarsgård, he got in, he's in shape. I get it. It's like a thousand shirtless scenes in here. I get it. He's in shape. He looks good. I got you, okay? 
but that's not the point of the crow. Like you missed the whole purpose of why, like the crow. The crow, at least to me, is about atmosphere. It's literally about atmosphere. It's about love. It's about when someone takes the one thing that gives your world impact, and you're giving, getting, you're, blah, 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 blah. you're getting a second chance to fix that. That's what I gained from the crow. I got the atmosphere, the visual aesthetics, the bummy and gloomy city that we was in. Like, I got that. I don't get any of that from this film. This film is boring, and the visuals look like crap. It looks like a, this, a standard, like, action flick. Like, it doesn't even look visually appealing whatsoever. And with Bill's, like I said, was saying with Bill Skarsgård, I, you, you needed to, sh- like, you, Brandon Lee made him interesting. You made him, they made, he gave him, like, some cockiness. He has some weirdness to him. It was some mystery to it. Okay. You want to go deeper into into Eric Draven? Fine. Then go deeper. Tell me about his backstory. How was he like as a kid? What 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 was his mom like? If you want to go that route, you want. But they show like one or two scenes, and then he wakes up. He wakes up in a cell, in a jail cell. And I'm like, what? I, the movie already starts off bad. Like it starts off way bad, and it focuses on stuff that don't really matter. Like it doesn't really matter. I don't care what his girlfriend did before he met him. I don't give a shit what she did. All you had to do was start off with Eric. If you wanted to show their love, their epic love, then start off with Eric first walking in somewhere and meeting his love interest. Just start it off like that. Why are you trying to go deeper, a deep dive into the villain and go deeper into the 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 what the crow is and bring all of this demonic trying to make it more deep and bring the demonic stuff the devil like none of that shit matters in the film because they don't explain it or go any depth into it they just tell you like oh this is something that happens and it's just like it just doesn't work it just doesn't work and you giving the love interest a backstory just and try and make it like tie in because really if Eric Draven never met the love interest, he would never have been in the predicament he was in now. Like, in the original, the whole reason why that gang goes after them was because they was protesting at one of the gang-like events, and then they went after them. That's why. Here, the girl is just... She did some evil things, and then she gets possessed by the main villain, and then kills people, and then... I guess that's a reason for like they don't explain anything. They just they just they just literally just tell you shit and then expect you to just well, well you can figure it out from there. And it's just like and is it just me or does Bill Skarsgård does he for the, has anyone ever like played Devil DMC Devil May Cry the Definitive Edition? Does does Bill Skarsgård look like him to y'all? Like, I feel like he looks like him. Like, remember when they tried to modernize Dante and DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition? Like, that's what he looks like. That's what he looks like. He looks like Dante from there. Or he looks like some type of alternate version of Jared Leto's Joker. Like, he just looks, like, I, I don't know what, what, why we got to modernize. Same thing, like, with Robocop. Like, it's like, it's such like Robocop. Like, why are you trying to, Give him like a new black suit, make him look all like that, that. Like that's not what the character is about. Like I, I don't understand. Like, like I get it. Bear, Bill Skarsgård looks sexy. I got it. You want to show off his abs? You want to show off all of that? Like I get it. But what do these tattoos that he have mean? Do they have any meaning? Like when did he get them? What, like, does it help develop the story? Like, he just, it's like they almost want him just to look high topic and look all gothic and cool. Just so it could kind of go with the aesthetic of how the crow is, but it, it just, no. Like, that's just not, the, the other crow was like that, but you you got that based on the flashbacks that we got. You got that based on his actions and when his and his actions and his interactions with people. Just because you give him freaky tattoos and make him give him freaky tattoos and he has like these little moments where he just stands and looks weird and kind of looks crazy. I'm, that doesn't give him 
that doesn't make him a cool character. You just, he's just weird. Like, he's just weird. You don't make me like Eric Draven in this. Like, I could care less. Like, and it, it, it's like so many, it was like, I was just like so mentally like frustrated with like what was going on, like what was going on. And it just blows me that they wasted all that time building up the villain. You didn't even need to do that. You didn't need to do that. All you had to do was show, if you wanted to show what their love life was like before, to show Eric and his love interest first meeting, and then show like it, show them how they got together and all that, what not. Show the love, make it have a couple of years down the line, then eventually get to the point where they're about to get married, and then have them die. Like I get it, it's a remake. You gotta you gotta be different. You gotta try stuff. But this director, I don't know who the director is, and I don't know who or all of these. When I'm looking at the credits, all these freaking producers, but y'all, y'all just, y'all just didn't, y'all just didn't understand the whole point of the crow. Y'all just took away all of the stuff just to modernize it and just make it like just a basic revenge plot. Cause all of the cool stuff doesn't happen until like the very end. Like I ain't gonna lie, the action, at least to me, it was pretty decent. It was quick, but it was it was okay. I wish the rest of the film was like that. I wish we had more time with him walking around the city and taking out guard, guard, like other thugs and building up to a climactic battle, but they don't even do that. Like he just, to, like he doesn't even really become like the crow crow, like the full outfit and stuff until like the end. And then he just goes and beats up the bad guys. Then he goes, finds the main guy. The main guy kind of tricks him. Cause he can like possess people and make them kill themselves, and then he just then the crow just defeats him, and then that's it. And they try to explain like what exactly is going on with why the crow can do certain things and that, but th- they kind of tell you at first, but they don't really explain or go into depth about it. It's just, did you know that a crow can bring you back to life? And then that's it. They don't go into depth about it, and it's just this old man that keeps for some reason taking Eric in and out of the dead, like back and forth between the, the other side and the real world. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Just have him, just give him the abilities of the crow and let him go out there and kick some ass. But it's like these moments where they got to talk, tell you instead of show you, like they're just sitting there telling you instead of showing you his emotions, show you what he's going through. It's just, it's just him most of the time just walking around being mopey, showing us the same scenes that we saw already, like, of them just hanging out with each other for, like, only a week. And that's it. The the, the coolest part was, like, the opera scene where, but it's in the trailer, so it's not even that cool anymore because we saw it in the trailer. So, and it's just, they just take away all of the mysteriousness, the cool factor, the the rock like the music it doesn't it doesn't even hit the same the, the visual style is just all like they they really tried to make it like modernize it and it's just I, I I I I just don't know and it just sucks like let me not to not to think not to say I can make a really really good film because I can't I can't I'm still that's what I'm in school for I'm still doing it but guys give it to, let me do it. Give me, give me, give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. I promise you, I could do it. I could do it. I can make a better film than this. I can make a better crow film than this. I can do it. Just give it to me. Give me the money. I can do it. It would be so much better than whatever the hell they made here. Like, it would be so much better. You wasted Bill Skarsgård. Bill Skarsgård could have worked. That's the dude that played Pennywise, okay? And he was in another film, I forgot the name, that was pretty good, where he was killing people as well. It could work. Bill Skarsgård has that creepy factor. He has his uh, his creepy-looking eyes, the way he moves his mouth, the way he walks sometimes, the way he uh, looks at the camera. Like, he could pull that off, but the way the 
film is depicting him, depicting him, and the way he's directed, it just doesn't seem like that's what it was going for, and it hinders his acting ability in a way. And if he was part of why this film sucks, then I, dude, like, why? But yeah, this film just, it's just not good. It's it's a lot of, I could, I could tell you, like, I could go into depth and depth about every little thing from just, just based on the crow's design. Like, you, you like, dude, what? Like, he literally looks like, he looks like Dante from DMC Devil May Cry. Like, when they tried to literally, like, redesign, redesign. If you don't know what he, look up Dante from DMC Devil May Cry Defensive Edition, and you can't tell me they don't look the same. Like, that's literally what they, it's just, they added the crow stuff. Like, that's literally what he looks like. And it's just, dude, you could have made such a better, such a better film. This, to me, this was easy. And all this was easy. All you had to do was get the visual dark aesthetic, the visual dark aesthetic. You wanted to go deeper into why Eric Draven does what he does, why the revenging. Okay, do that. You don't really, I don't think you need to go into depth about what the crow is and like how he got brought back to life. I think the mystery of that is already good on its own. We don't need to know. We don't really need to know any about that. But if you are going to go into depth about it, make it make sense. And actually tell us what's going on. Like, actually go into depth about it. Instead of just repeating pretty much the same shit the other movie did. But now you're kind of just showing where exactly he's going when he dies. And then the ending, you kind of just have it where he stays like the crow in like this little other world. And then she lives. So it kind of just defeats the whole purpose of how the original ends. Where he kind of just goes back to being kind of goes back to the to the other life and he ends up being with his girl after he takes out the other people. Yeah, like I kind of that ending makes sense. Here he just he just stays the crow and he just walks around kind of like trying to be cool in the other world and it just doesn't uh, I, I don't know. Honestly, this film was a waste of time. I could have been doing other shit. I want my money back. Got the Lionsgate. Get, let me make a better crow film. I can make it. Let me let me do it. Cause I don't know. This was a shit show. I don't know what this was. I don't know. I have no idea what this was. But um, yeah. Uh, if we was to rate this as someone that really likes the crow. Um, maybe on a good day, if you're drunk enough, this might be like a four. But for right now, this is a two, like a two or three out of ten. Two or three. I'm, I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a two. You, 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 you. For one, you wasted Bill Skarsgård. That's one because he could have actually pulled it off. You made a shitty remake, and which didn't need to happen. But if you was gonna do it, you could have tried way harder than this. You didn't even. It don't even like you tried to put effort into it. Like, and then three, you just made every character and everyone else just seem so boring. You made me hate Eric Draven, if anything. Like, I don't give a shit about him at all. If anything, I was waiting for this for him to die. Because that first half is so boring and drags on for so long. I'm like, dude, you could have spent all of this time just building up their relationship. Or you could have spent all this time going into depth about Eric Draven. But you didn't. You wasted it with other plot points about them being in jail and then trying to build up the, the 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 villain and then it ends up going nowhere when you could have just left them at gangsters just regular gangsters like that was fine but whatever it's it's a two out of ten this is a waste of time maybe i it was it was meant for me not to go early and see it and maybe it wasn't meant for me to watch it at all maybe i should have just stayed stayed home and did something else because that this was bad this was really really bad so I will probably never, I don't think I will ever watch this again. Not even if someone asked me. Yeah, I wouldn't even watch it then. So, yeah. Go watch. Go watch my Crow film. You'll have a better time over there. I promise you, you have a way better time. Um, I don't think mine is perfect. I don't think it's the best, but it's better. I, I'm definitely taking my film over this shit. Definitely taking mine. And go watch the original. The original is, is, is way better. Just go watch the original. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.